Hopkins uh, controlling the action. She's just been informed that uh, might be a little bit of a delay in the next fight because uh, no one from Roy Jones Jr.'s corner was inside Richard Hall's locker room when he wrapped the gloves. And that's, that's a long-standing uh, tradition in boxing. Someone from each camp, the other opposing camp, will watch to make sure you tape the gloves right. Well, the commissioners were in there, but you would think they would know that no one was in there from Jones' and, camp. And also, when the commission says, okay, you guys are starting to wrap the hands, hold on, let me get somebody from Jones' club. Well, they haven't had boxing here in some uh, 15 years. Maybe that's uh, something they've got to get used to. Shades of Tyson Spinks when uh, types, uh, Spinks people didn't like the way that uh, Tyson clubs were wrapped in the Folks, we've had no legal knockdowns, but we've had a number of take tags. There's a difference. Yep. Round 11. Not only is Vanderpool losing the fight, he's having a bad hair day now. Braves are all in this little space now. Hopkins just uh, slammed the right to the midsection. And he's got Vanderpool in the corner. Let's see what he does with it. Uh, Vanderpool's going to pull. His way out. Out this corner, told him, close the show. That means you know, so he's got knocked out. You know, it's Billy Page while he was breaking him up from the other side. Hopkins was, 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 was hit two, three little shots on the on the opposite side. Philadelphia fighter. I wonder if these uh, judges can see these little sly scoring punches. Look at that, Vanderpool backs away instead of staying on him. It's almost his, his resolve is I want to go to distance with the middleweight champ. Again. Now he's uh, being warned about putting. You know when tape comes off the gloves, they stop the fight and uh, do something. What are you doing? The hair comes apart. I don't know if that's in any rule book. Yeah, he's having a pair of hairs on his eyes. He's on his eyes. The referee would just have to cut him off, I guess. But again, it could be dangerous for Hopkins. Final seconds, round 11. Round 12, the final round. Take down number one. Five. <laughs> five, six, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nard Hopkins appears to be on his way to defending his middleweight championship crown for the 11th time. I got it, 118-10, 111. Hopkins. It's Vanderpool over here in the corner. Slips in a couple of body shots. Well, Vanderpool, this is the last round for Vanderpool, so I, I, I would think that Vanderpool has got to just go for broke. I think Vanderpool, he has to, because tomorrow he's going to be sore up and down his body. Well, actually, he's going for broke the whole fight. <laughs> There's a nice little chopping right in from Hopkins. He is so sad with those punches. He was, he was funny thing, on my scorecard, the only two rounds of Vanderpool won is when Hopkins just sat back and just tried to figure him out. Trying to figure out that awkward southpaw lunging style. There's another short little left. And the rope saved the takedown there. And to Hopkins' credit, he's been able to uh, withstand the lunging and the grabbing from a stronger fighter, physically stronger fighter. Boy, Hopkins caught him with a right, backing up. If you look at the legs of Hopkins, they don't look like a middleweight's leg, maybe a welterweight's leg. But he gets a good snap on his punches all through his body, the leverage is there. He is getting those little uh, shots in. 
Billy Page has been slow on the brakes. And Hopkins has taken advantage of it. Look at that knot over the right eye of, uh, it's like an egg, half an egg on the, the forehead of uh, Vanderpool. It's probably the headline kind of cut open the way they've been banging each other, brushing in there. 35 seconds remaining in this title fight. Right hand from Hopkins. Numerous shots to the midsection. Machine gun style. I wonder where does Hopkins go from here if it's not Jones? Good question. Doesn't put on a lot of weight between fights. He's always around 160. Here's Hopkins in the post. Nice throw. Left the referee. The referee heard the clapping. He thought the round was over because he heard the 10 second warning, which has been going on all night. And that's it. Yeah. Referee Billy Page got confused on that. And so it ends. What appears to be a unanimous decision for Bernard Hopkins. And there's a man who's a tough, strong Canadian fighter, but extremely awkward. Bernard Hopkins, the 11th title defense. Pound for pound, one of the best. Yeah. Sixteen to one twelve, all for the winner by unanimous decision, and still the reigning and defending middleweight champion of the world, Bernard the Executioner Hopkins. No surprise there.